find the product of um, the quantity x plus 4 times the quantity x minus 7. Right? And so if we use FOIL, which is really just repeated distributive property, um, we would multiply our first terms together, right? which would be x times x plus, we would multiply our outer terms together. Right? So here's our first. Let's make this um, color code. We're going to multiply then our outer terms together, right? which would be x times negative 7 plus, then we'll multiply our inner terms together, 4 times x, and we'll finish by multiplying our last terms together, which would be 4 times negative 7. And if you notice, I really just distributed. Um, to do FOIL, you just distribute x to the, both of the terms in the second parentheses. So you're taking each term of your first parentheses and you're distributing it over to each term of your second parentheses. So I distributed x to x and negative 7. Then I distributed 4 to x and negative 7. And now we just need to simplify each one of those. All right? So if we simplify all of this, x times x is x squared plus x times negative 7 is negative 7x plus 4 times x is 4x plus 4 times negative 7 is negative 28. And then if you notice, our last step down here is to combine like terms, if we have any. And we can see that we do have um, some like terms because we have negative 7x and 4x. Those are our only like terms because they have the exact same variable. x squared and x are not the same variable, right? If they have different exponents, that means they're not like terms. So x squared is just going to have to be x squared. Uh, negative 7x plus 4x is negative 3x. And then negative 28 is the only constant. And so there is our final answer. If we were to FOIL or find the product of those two binomials, we get x squared minus 3x minus 28.